Okay, we hope. Believe me, I wouldn't be as salty as they are. Sometimes they get a little bit carried away with the mock charges and the things because mom is right next to them and that might get mom a little bit excited. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> do they, how do they communicate? Um, different sounds. Um, some of the things are what we know the best and then there's another sound we call it stomach rumbling but it's not made with a stomach, it's actually made with a voice cord. But it sounds like a stomach rumbling. And uh, that's they, they talk to each other the whole time. Um, they even do that on frequencies that we don't hear. Mm. So they, they talk to each other the whole time. We just don't hear it. Through their tummies? Uh, well, it sounds like a stomach rumbling, but it's been proved that that sound actually gets made by the voice cords. Okay. So they still call it stomach rumbling, basically. And then also that vibration goes, goes into um, the ground through the feet, and they can actually pick that up through the feet again. Very, very sensitive feet. Uh -huh. That's the way they What's your favourite animal? My favourite? Sure, that's the real to say. Dung beetle. I don't know. Yeah, dung beetle is pretty cool. Uh, you know, we were given the choice of going to yoga. I have spoken. That big male coming out. <laughs> like it's still a little bit earlier for rutting season, for breeding season, but some will start to... They, it's a quite interesting cycle. The males start becoming territorial due to the lengthening and shortening of the days. So they become territorial, then they start going to the rut, so they start chasing the females around, making those noises, and that in turn gets the females into estrus again. That kind of aggressive behavior. 